Hello, I'm Robert and I'm just going to show you how with the recorder using just the breath you can vary the pitch and the volume of the note independently. And so this is something that some recorder players say is impossible to do. And you can understand why you think it's impossible because if you look at the recorder it's just got this narrow airway there and it's quite long, narrow airway and breath comes out and hits uh, an edge. And there seems no way that by varying the way you breathe to that airway that you could um, ch make any difference to how the sound is created uh, when it comes out to the other end of the airway. You think it's just like blowing through a pipe, a long pipe in the air coming out the other side. And how could the way you blow at the same volume pressure, at the same pressure volume, make any difference to the um, pitch or the volume, to the pitch of the sound at the same volume? Well, uh, for I'm going to show you that it, it can make a difference and then I'm going to talk a little bit about why I think it does, why, why I think it happens. Uh, it's quite a subtle effect, so don't expect like a dramatic change like a semitone or even a quarter tone. It's, I think, less than an eighth tone, but it's uh, quite easy to hear all the same. So if you... Uh, I'll show you, first of all, I'll just show it on its own and then I'll show you with the reference pitch so you can hear really clearly what's going on. So first of all I'll play the same note louder and then a little bit quieter. So that's the same pitch and um, difference in volume. And now I play the a quieter pitch at two different at two different pitches. So So that's uh, higher in pitch and then lower in pitch at about the same breath volume. And to show it's not an acoustic illusion, that it really is something is actually happening there, I'll now show you it with the reference pitch. So there's a reference pitch and I'll play first of all the quite loud along with that reference pitch, quiet with the reference pitch, and then I'll play a quiet but below the reference pitch. So like this, so first loud. Now quiet, and now quiet and below it. But it's well below, and that was about the same breath pressure as when I was playing it quiet and um, on pitch. And I did all that just by changing how I breathe. Now through the through the tube, and uh, now the difference is that when I'm playing it flat. I play a very steady, let's switch that sound off. When I play it flat, I play a very steady breath with no turbulence in the air. And by turbulence, I just mean tiny micro eddies. So they, the, the, whole, the, the air piece is quite narrow, it's just a few millimeters across. I think little tiny millimeter size um, eddies are being blown down there. When you when you have turbulence, so you want a very 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 steady breath. It's not the same as tremolo or vibrato. It's more just the consistency of the breath. So your volume of breath isn't changing at all, but you're just using a very consistent. Your mouth is very wide open, and and there's a very smooth. There's no nothing obstructing the air stream all the way through, and that makes it flat. And then when you want it to go sharp. You make it a kind of rougher airstream going through and it helps to blow it at a slight angle and I think you get all these tiny little eddies going through. It'd be interesting to get someone to look at it with maybe a transparent um, uh, mouthpiece and with some tracers you can actually see the eddies forming and see if this is what happens. But I think that's what's happening, that you're getting little tiny eddies going through and then they hit the edge. Because you can also hear a difference in the quality of sound as well. It's not the same quality of sound at the same volume. But it's well within the normal parameters. Um, you know, it sounds, it's not, a, it's not like an awful sound. It's, it's quite a nice sound both ways. It's just the, you get some variation in the quality of the sound of all the notes anyway. And so, uh, and so this, this is just, uh, 
in, within the range of the variability of the quality of the coat of sand. So uh, whether that's useful or not, I'm just saying uh, it just to show because some people think it's impossible. So I'm just showing you that it's possible and it can be done. And I find I use it rather a lot myself. I think it helps with the expressivity of the recorder playing because you can do things like a, a long note that swells and dies away without changing in pitch. And you do that without any moving of the fingers and without any finger shading or anything, just by using the breath. And uh, But this is unconventional and this isn't the way that you're normally taught to play the recorder. And so I would hesitate to advise that you do this because it might be bad habits or whatever. But uh, if you just don't mind just experimenting and trying things out, then it's quite fun and neat to know that you can do this. And I think there might be some possibility of developing a different way of playing the recorder using this technique, but um, I'm just still on the experimental stage of that myself. So that's what this talk's about. That's all I wanted to do, just want to share this.